Yeah, so we are here today, enough introductory comments, to look at Photo Story for Windows. And the slogan that Windows uses for this is making show and tell cool again. And uh, it's my role here today to convince you people that it certainly is a cool product that is free. I repeat, it's free, free download. It's, it's not a very big, big file. And it's something that I think you will certainly uh, enjoy and hope that you explore with your students. Okay, so again, Norman, I'll ask you if there's any questions, you can just pop the hand up and uh, and we'll get going. So I guess the new jargon, the new term is digital storytelling, okay, and that's what it's going to be all about today. We ask why, of course, as teachers, why are we doing such activities? Well, in my experience, the photo story uh, entails a host of processes that students go through. And I just named a couple there. And I'm hoping by the end of the session that you'll be able to find some, some more examples of how it can be integrated in the curriculum. Okay, I think that's the key word being the cross-curricular implications. So we must ask, of course, what's in it for students? And what, what better to better way to find out, but actually to show you a few of my students uh, from uh, this current year. Again, rarely do I see my kids face to face, but often whenever they come into the big city, being St. John's on various sporting tournaments or conferences, we always make a point to, to get together with the kids. And here's just a couple of the thoughts that they have given me about Photo Story. Okay, so I have a moment to look through that. So let's just start off with the five W's. You know, I, I just want to show everyone and demo to everyone how simple this program is. My 10-year-old daughter, nine at the time, made up a Heritage Fair project using Photo Story last year. So it's, it's a really friendly program, and I'm hoping by the end of this session that you will all be convinced as well and uh, be willing to give it a try. So it's, it's all you need is a microphone, the program, and a computer, of course. All right, so there, there are various ways that I've experimented with with Photo Story. Uh, the first one being where teachers produce the actual project. So let's say that you're doing a unit on uh, Les Sports d'Hiver, winter sports. You may go out and take some live pictures of winter sports. You may go on Google Images and find some, but the key is that you come up with about a dozen words or however many you may want, and then it's up to the students to narrate. They are the narrators of the project, and we're going to show you a couple examples in a moment. Even better, individual group, individual or group work uh, where students actually choose the theme of their project, and go out, put it all together. And finally, we can have a collaborative effort whereby students and teachers work together. So guys, there's lots of angles to take it in order to make Photo Story effective for your classroom. All right, any questions so far? All right, well, enough chatter then. Uh, again, another kind of uh, s diagram that I've found that, that en encompasses the various skills that are being used for photo story and digital storytelling. And without further ado, let's actually hop right into an example. And uh, Val, maybe you can speak to this briefly before uh, it begins. Um, first of all, hello everybody. Um, really fantastic to have this kind of opportunity. Glenn, maybe while I'm just saying hello, I don't think this is uh, the one. This is Julia and not Julie. I'm not familiar. I think this might be your student. If you want to take uh, take over here. 
Okay, well, this particular project was a, uh, actually, I think it is Julie Val. I did switch it after. This is a project that uh, uh, a student from rural Newfoundland completed, and I believe the goal was to have a little project about my community, my family. Who am I? More of a who am I project, and the students really enjoy doing this. So let's have a look. Avoir des amis me donne un grand sentiment de soutien. Sur cette photo, mes amis et moi sommes à la plage. Dans cette photo, mes parents sont sur iChat, une webcam programme sur Mac que nous utilisons pour parler les uns à nos autres. Nous parlons trois fois par semaine, mais je ne manque en, encore beaucoup. J'ai toujours aimé la musique rock depuis j'étais un petit enfant. Je ne suis pas seulement m'exprimer à travers la musique, mais il m'inspire aussi fortement. Sur cette photo, mon frère et moi sommes en marche autour de Disneyland en Floride. Mon petit frère Félix est à seulement deux ans plus jeune que je suis. C'est la raison pour laquelle nous nous entendons très bien. Mon petit copain et moi partageons beaucoup d'intérêts et nous n'avons jamais rien sur la lutte. L'amour est très important dans la vie des jeunes. J'adore mettre le maquillage. Sur cette photo, mon ami Yoko est de mettre du maquillage sur moi pour la prom scolaire l'annuel. Je manque mon meilleur ami Rémi beaucoup. Nous sommes opposés presque complètes, mais nous avons été les meilleurs amis depuis la quatrième année. Je crois que mon inspiration rend la vie intéressante. Les beaux paysages comme dans cette photo m'inspirent à écrire. Perhaps just uh, while that one's finishing. And we're going to jump right in here. And I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see this on the big screen now, Norman. Uh, okay. Just give me a green tick, guys. If you're seeing the window, welcome to Photo Story for Windows version 3. Okay, super. All right, so we're going to begin a new story today. And I'm going to click on Import Pictures. And now I did create a file of Olympic pictures, which I thought would be uh, quite, you know, a hot topic today. So I'm going to take all of these pictures, I'm going to select them, and I'm going to say OK. And ta-da! All of the images that I have are now in the Photo Story project. Okay? But we're not done. Norman, have we found that volunteer yet? Okay, we have a careful audience here. They want to know what they're volunteering for. All right. Well, Norman, I'm just going to ask you. I'm going to give you control of the applications. And you are now in control, my friend. I would like you to change around the order of the pictures. Okay, you can change around the order of the picture. Maybe take the Vancouver 2010 logo, and that might be front. So you simply click on that and drag it. Perfect. Parfait. There might be some other things you want to drag around there. All right, so you guys, you, you get the idea. There you go. Very nice. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to ask you to do, Norman, or volunteer, is to click on Next. I want you to go Next. Right. Now, here is where we can actually add text to a given picture. So, Norman, I'd like for you to uh, maybe just choose a picture then and, and spice it up. Maybe you could write it in a, uh, a second language. Voila. Continue. Okay, so I'm going to stick to English just so that everybody gets the gist. Okay, perfect. 
Okay, so we might say welcome. All right, and uh, what we might even do, Norman, as we practiced last week, we might want to make that a little bit bigger. We might want to change the color to that cool green that uh, they're using out west now. So we've got welcome there. All right, and uh, let's just uh, take another one. This is scary. I think you can all agree with me on that one. And, of course, let's change that one to red, make it a little bit bigger, bold it. And let's put it at the top of the slide. You see how on the far right I have the controls to put it in the middle, at the top, so on and so forth? we got to read the teachers here. you got to drop that 